Hello, everybody. My name is Jonathan Greglitz, and recently, Google rebranded and has made a new logo for themselves. You can see it on the screen now. And today, I am going to be making a new logo for them, you know, for the future, because I'm looking out for Google. I'm a personal user of Bing myself, but I'm looking out for Google. I do not personally like this logo, so I will be redesigning one for them for the future. All of my tools here, I've got a pen, all the color pencils I will ever need. Now, you see, I am thinking about the broad spectrum of things. I'm, I'm not just a simple man. I know about advertising, and if there's one thing I know about the letter G is that in the word Disney, they have a letter D at the beginning, but it looks nothing like a D. It looks more like a G. To start off here, I will be making a flat out G that looks like a D. And for the next set of letters, we will be focusing on the O and the other O. Personally, I think that there are an infinite number of websites that you can find using the service Google. But because I do not personally use Google, I like to think of it as the infinite number of reasons why Bing is a far superior search engine. Now, we will be going on. People have always told me one thing about the letter 9. It's kind of embarrassing. Most people are going to do their 9s like this. But me, all my life, I have done my number 9s like this. So I'm flat out just going to write the number 9. That seems appropriate. Now, like I did with the G before, I was thinking in terms of the effectiveness of logos in the past. And for the L, I am going to not only make the L capitalized, but I'm going to base it off of this stupid little kid. Now you see, his R is backwards. So we are going to make this L different from every other Google. Nice. Now the home stretch is here. Now, Google, at the end of the day, they are a corporation. They are out to make money, and so we are going to end this off with just a dollar sign. Now, the only problem here is that I have been working on an index card. Well, I have taken the liberty of taking this logo and recreating it in Photoshop. So it can be used anywhere at any time. Now, I will be releasing this later today so that all of you guys can contact Google and tell them to use this, this new logo in the future. I would really, really appreciate it. All right, so this concludes our tutorial. My name is Jonathan Greglitz. Goodbye.